name's Tara Park. I've been a virtual teacher since 2003. Since that time, virtual education has gone through many changes. While we use technology to reach our students every day, there are many new technologies that can really make your virtual classroom come alive. Today, I will share three of my favorite tools with you. Glockster EDU is an online, interactive, collaborative site where students can create posters or glogs to represent any number of things. Glockster is a place where your students can showcase their work in an easy to use, visually appealing format. For me, Glockster is just like hanging my students' work in the hall outside of my classroom. Another great feature for virtual teachers is the Glockster Premium version comes with the ability to capture both still and video images, which can really help to bridge the geographic gap between virtual teachers and their students. Well, what we can do is you can pick all these like designs and patterns. You can add your own pictures. You can take pictures and videos, and it can be like a theme. Like one could be about your favorite sports, or one could be about what you like doing every day, or what your favorite things are. So you can just pick a picture. You can pick all the different designs for the captions to be in too. It's fun. One of the great features Glogster has is the ability to create multimedia glogs that can easily be embedded into your Blackboard course or your Wikispace or your students' Wikispaces to make them more visually appealing. You can also add hyperlinks to your blog, which makes a great feature if you are embedding into a Blackboard course or a Wiki. This is also a great feature for a teacher or student-created web quests. One of the great features for a virtual teacher is the Glockster allows you to actually see your students. When you click on a student's name, you can view the glogs they have completed. Students can create glogs to display their research papers. Glogster is also a great place for students to create personal narratives. They have the ability to upload or take pictures to make these narratives indeed personal. Glogster allows students to create media-rich book reviews to share with one another that can be embedded into their wiki space or into your Blackboard course. It gets you into doing projects and it like does the creative side of projects. Another great news site where students can showcase their work is Storybird.com. Storybird is an online collaborative storytelling site where your students can choose beautiful artwork and write a story to go along with it. Here's how it works. Well, you can click create and you pick an artist and each artist has like thousands of pictures you can choose from and you can pick the color of your cover, you put the picture on your cover and just type up your story and add a page. This is Storybird's work area. As you can see, there is a wonderful selection of artwork for students to choose from. Students can add pages and art throughout the drafting process. Finally, they are ready to start writing. Once students are finished writing their Storybird, they can publish it to the site so that the teacher and other classmates can view their book. Students from their class and often around the world can comment on their books. This feedback helps to motivate students to write more. It really touched me and it feels good because um, now I know like many people do like it and it makes me happy. So Storybird can help to promote reading, writing, and creativity. It can be used as a collaboration tool for your virtual students, not to mention the fact that your students will love it. It makes me want to write more. Vokey allows students to express themselves on the web in their own voice using a talking character. You can customize your Vokey to look like you, or take on the identity of lots of other types of characters. Vokey is a great tool to use in your blog, wiki, with Glogster, and especially with digital storytelling. Creating a Vokey is easy. You simply log in and click on the Create button. This will bring you to a page where you can create your customized Vokey. You can either make one in your own likeness, or you can choose from a variety of characters. Then you choose a background that suits your needs. 
Finally, you're ready to give your Vokey a voice. You can either call in using your voice on a telephone, type it in, or use your computer's microphone. One of the great things about Vokey is it can be easily embedded into your Blackboard organization or Wikispace. Vokey is an ideal tool for your students to use to create visually appealing podcasts as well. Technology is changing at such a rapid rate, it's sometimes hard to keep up. However, this is such an exciting time to be a teacher. I hope this video has helped to shed some light on ways that you can incorporate some of the many new tools available to teachers into your virtual classroom.